Some Thoughts Concerning Education is a philosophical work by the English philosopher John Locke, published in 1693. The book is a practical guide for parents and educators on how to raise and educate children, and it has had a significant impact on the development of educational theory and practice. Here is a summary of some of the key ideas in the book. Locke argues that education should be directed towards the development of the whole person, including the intellect, the body, and the character. He contends that education should be based on the natural abilities and inclinations of the individual, rather than on a predetermined curriculum or set of rules. Locke emphasizes the importance of early childhood education, arguing that the first years of a child's life are crucial for the development of good habits and character. He advocates for a nurturing and supportive environment that encourages children to explore and learn on their own. Locke also stresses the importance of practical learning and hands-on experience, rather than rote memorization or abstract knowledge. He argues that children should be encouraged to learn by doing, and that education should be based on the natural interests and abilities of the individual. Locke believes that education should be grounded in reason and critical thinking, rather than blind obedience or tradition. He advocates for a liberal education that encourages independent thought and a questioning attitude, and that is not constrained by dogma or ideology. Locke also emphasizes the importance of physical education and exercise, arguing that a healthy body is essential for a healthy mind. He advocates for a balanced education that includes both mental and physical development, and that encourages children to explore and experience the natural world. Overall, Some Thoughts Concerning Education is a practical guide for parents and educators on how to raise and educate children. Its ideas have had a significant impact on the development of educational theory and practice, particularly in the areas of child development, practical learning, and liberal education. The book reflects Locke's larger philosophy, which emphasizes the importance of reason, individual liberty, and personal responsibility in promoting human flourishing and social stability.